Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel and to the second video of this series. So today we'll be looking at the British India 1862 uh, 1 rupee silver coins, uh, specifically the coins with the type A obverse. I'll be sharing with you uh, some examples of the coins that you can find and the uh, various varieties are present on each coins. Now, if you did not catch the first video of this series, where I discuss how you can identify the major variations on the obverse and reverse of the coins, I highly recommend that you watch that first uh, before proceeding on with this video. I'll leave a link to that video uh, at the end of this video, and I'll also leave a link uh, in the description text uh, below. Uh, before we take a look at the coins, uh, please leave me a like uh, if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So uh, let's get into it. The coins that I'll be showing you in this video were all minted at the Bombay Mint. Uh, they all have the date 1862 and all of them will have the Type A obverse. Now just to quickly recap, the Type A variety can be identified by the three and three quarters panel here on the bust of the queen uh, on the obverse. There are 42 known varieties for the 1862 coins. Uh, I don't have all of them, but I'll be able to show you uh, seven examples. So let's now go take a look at the first coin. All right, the first coin I'm going to show you is this coin from 1862, which has the type A obverse and the type 1 uh, reverse. For this coin, there are no dots present. As I mentioned in my last video, uh, 1862 coins uh, with any dots on them uh, came from the Bombay Mint, while coins uh, without any dots uh, can be minted from the Bombay Mint, the Calcutta or Madras Mint. Uh, the only way to tell the difference is to measure the diameter of the coin. And for this particular coin, it has a diameter of 30.7 millimeters, which means uh, this coin was minted at the Bombay Mint uh, between 1862 to 1863. Now for the type 1 uh, reverse, you will see a, a open flower here on top and a flat top on the number 1. Uh, we can also identify some minor varieties on the obverse. Here on top of the crown, you can see around pearls instead of the elongated ones. While down here on the rope, you will not see any uh, main mark, no V letter main mark. Unfortunately, there are no mintage numbers uh, recorded uh, for this uh, particular coin. Okay. For our second coin, I have this coin with the Type A obverse, a Type 2 reverse, and four dots down here above the bottom flower. Now this variety uh, identifies it as a coin minted by the Bombay Mint in 1866, and there was a mintage of approximately uh, 25 million. Again, the Type 2 reverse uh, can be identified by the closed flower here and the pointed top number one. For the obverse, we can identify uh, some minor varieties. Uh, the pearls on the crown are elongated and there are no uh, min mark here on the rope. For the third coin, I have this coin again from 1862 with the Type A obverse and a Type 2 reverse, uh, the closed flower and the pointed one, plus the five dots over here above the bottom flower. 
Hope you can see that. Now this identified it as a coin uh, minted by the Bombay Mint in 1868. And there was a mintage of about uh, 26 million. On the obverse, the minor varieties are present. Uh, the elongated pearls on the crown and no mean mark down here on the rope. Okay. My next uh, 1862 coin has the type A obverse, the type two uh, reverse, uh, the closed flower, a pointed one, and six dots uh, here, uh, just above the bottom flower. Uh, this means that this coin was minted at the Bombay Mint in 1868 and there was a mintage of just uh, under 26 million. Uh, the minor varieties are on the obverse. Here are the elongated pearls above the crown. And again, there are no uh, main mark uh, down here on the road. Uh, this coin is in quite high grade, um, extra fine. It's actually quite a pretty coin, this one. Okay. The fifth uh, 1862 coin uh, here has the type A obverse, a uh, type 2 reverse, and seven dots here uh, just above the bottom flower. Uh, this identified it as a coin uh, minted at the Bombay Mint in 1869. Unfortunately, there are no mintage uh, numbers uh, available for this particular coin. Unless uh, someone knows. Uh, if you do know, uh, please post that in the comment section below. Uh, the minor varieties on the obverse. For this uh, coin, we can see uh, round pearls on the crown. But unfortunately, the rope here is a little bit worn, uh, but I couldn't see any, uh, any main mark uh, down here. So I class it as uh, having uh, no, no main mark. This coin is probably in fine condition. Quite a bit of uh, scratches on the coin. Down here as well. But it's still quite nice. My next uh, 1862 coin uh, is this coin with the Type A obverse, a uh, Type 2 reverse, and 10 dots down here above the bottom flower. They are a little bit small, so I hope you can see them. I assure you, if you were to count them, there are 10 dots down here. Now this means that this coin was minted by the Bombay Mint in 1872 and there was a mintage of just over 28 million for this coin. On the obvious, the minor variations we can see are the round pearls here uh, on the crown and no min mark down here on the rope. It's either here or down here, but I don't see any. Now this coin is a little bit interesting because of all these uh, uh, cuts, I believe, uh, on the rim of the coin. 
It could be a PMD, a post mean damage. I'm not really sure. You can also see some uh, on the rivers uh, down here. But it's quite an interesting coin. As it's the only uh, 1862 coin I have with 10 dots, which are quite hard to find actually. Okay. Our final 1862 coin here has the type A obverse, a type 2 uh, reverse, again, the closed flower and the pointed top one. And the dot arrangement for this coin, it has uh, one dot uh, below the top flower and two dots above the bottom flower. Here's the single dot above and here's the two dots uh, below. Now this means that this coin was minted by the Bombay Mint in 1874. Uh, again, there are no mintage numbers uh, available for this coin. At least uh, not any that I could find uh, online. And the minor varieties we can identify here on the obverse are the elongated, elongated pearls on the crown. And no mint mark down here on the rope. At least uh, not any that I can see. This coin is also in quite a good grade, uh, probably uh, just under extra fine. The details are quite clear for this coin. Okay. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys uh, were not too bored and maybe learn something about how to identify the type A and type 2 uh, varieties for these coins. Uh, be sure to catch my next video where I'll be showing you the type B uh, obverse of the 1862 coins. I'll leave the link to the Nomista webpage uh, on these uh, coins as well as the link to Chifter Coins, uh, which uh, illustrate uh, quite clearly uh, pictures, uh, the uh, year of mintage, as well as some of the mintage numbers uh, for this series of coins. Uh, take a look at that uh, if you'd like to learn more. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And don't forget to share and subscribe if you have not done so. Uh, as always, please take care, uh, be safe, and have a nice day.